Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part three on the Lowrider e-bike frame. I left you off in part two. We've got the frame and the fork legs into 2K high build primer. This is all cured down now. So we're gonna move on to this next stage. We're gonna get this guide coated up, all prepped up, and we're gonna get it into some color today as well. Get it in the first stage of base coat. So that's what's happening in today's video. The base that we're gonna be using today is the guide coat is a dry powder one. You can get this in an aerosol form where you spray it on, but I prefer this one, it lasts a lot longer. We've got some foam sanding pads, nice and cheap. We've got a, a soft foam block. We've got an 800 grit, 500 and a 320. We're gonna start off knocking this primer back with a 320 and then go down the grits and we'll finish up more than likely wet sanding this in 800. I've got some dolphin glaze if we come to any little imperfections and there is some on this so we can just do some little fillings, drop a bit of aerosol primer or whatever over the top and we're good to go. So that's what's happening in today's video. I will stick you in the time lapse, enjoy the music, enjoy the work. I'll see you in a bit. Right, there you go, that's the first pass on the sanding back. So we've got all the frame sanding back. I've used soft foam sponges, DA with a block. I've used the DA disc on my hand and just gone round. There's a couple of bits that I've got to do a little bit of dolphin glazing. There's a teeny little dink here that I missed on there. Little dimple there. And there's another one just round here little dinky one there. So I'm just gonna drop a little bit of dolphin glaze on that, fill them in, mix a bit of primer up, dust it over, and then that frame will be good to go for base coat. So I'm gonna move on to the forks next. I'm just gonna sand these off, guide coat these forks, sand them off, prep them up ready, and then I can get all cleared up in here. As you can see, that's the dust that's come off the frame. So quite a bit, but it's all looking nice. And when you drop the panel wipe on it to gloss it up, it's all looking nice and straight. So that top tube's come out really nice now. Nice and straight, nice and smooth. All the rest of it's looking really nice. So this is what it looked like with the clear coat on. Just gives you an idea of how nice and flat that frame's come up. So we're getting there guys. Not long now we'll be getting the guns out again and we'll be dropping some nice base coat down on this frame. I'm gonna base the whole frame up and I'm gonna do the white and just fog the white in here so you've got a nice fade between the color 
and then it goes into the white where the artwork's going to be either side on here so that can be done later but we're going to get it up into base coat today so we'll press on i'll get you in another time lapse a little bit more sand in drop some music on and we'll get these forks ready to go see you in a bit Right guys, we are all good to go. We've got the frame all prepped and ready for base coat. I've remasked all the bits that needed masking out again. Seat tube pieces. We've blocked off the screw holes here. I don't want to get a build up of paint on them threads so you can't screw the threads in. So we're ready to drop the base coat. This is a solvent base coat. And it is a Volkswagen color. It's a nice color. We've got the forks ready to go, prepped. Now the next stage on this is to clean this down. I'm going to blow it off with the air blower, wax and grease remover, and then just blow it down. I've got rubber gloves on, blow it down, and then just rub my hand over. I've not got any tack rags, but that'll be good enough. Rubber glove on, and we'll just wipe it all down and get this ready for base. So I'll stick you in the time lapse, and we'll get this cleaned up. See you in a bit. I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes and embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need Right guys, we're ready to move on. I'm going to use the iWatt Impact Junior for this. We've got the colour mix in the gun. I've dropped a little bit on the frame just to check the gun out at the minute. But really, really nice colour. It's going to really pop in the sun. So I'll stick you on the cap cam and we'll go around and just do some nice light coats and just build this up. Probably about three or four coats. We'll just take us time and just build it up nice and light. See you in a bit.
right, I'll give it two coats so far. It's a very light, transparent type colour. It's going to take quite a bit to build this up. But there we are, guys. It's a really nice colour. I'll give it that. So, yeah, we're getting there. A couple more coats, and then I'll do a nice drop coat on this. Get all that metallic, and that's settling down nice. But it's coming out really well. Looking nice. Got the forks. This will be a lot different once it's clear coated as well because then you'll get your gloss and it'll really make it pop. So I'll just let this one flash off for a bit. We'll give it another wet coat. We'll just, just build them up nice and light, nice and light guys. There's no rush on this. I'll see you in the next step. all done I'll give you a little pan around in the frame I think it looks absolutely sick I've just put the foot plates on that Steve's had done and he's definitely picked the right color for this because with the black accents on this bike once this is clear coated in the sunlight it's going to look amazing so I'll give you a little pan round so there we go that's the color and with the black I just think it looks awesome you can have black rims on this you'll have the matching forks and then the crown caps and the bottoms will be in black which will be powder coated the same as that but it's come out really nice <clears throat> all the welds are nicely smoothed out now so it just looks a lot more flusher all this was all sorted this now is nice and straight all the way along so once this is clear coated, it will look the part in the sunlight. It really, really will pop. We've got artwork to drop on this. I'm going to fog the white in so it fades. So we have a little faded patch and then we're going to do some low rider artwork on this piece and on the opposite side. So that's where we are. This is a Volkswagen collar. I'm not sure of the name. I'll leave a link. Well, not a link in the description, but I'll find out the name I'll put in the description for you. But that's how it's come out. Forks all matching, nice. So the next stage on this <clears throat> will be to start the artwork. Got to get the frame positioned up. 
I've got the white paint now and then we can move on to the artwork stage. Bit of airbrushing both sides. I'll take you through a step by step on that. And then we're gonna be ready for clear coat and I'm gonna put a nice clear coat on this. I'm gonna get some of the PPG clear coat that we get from work. I'll get some of that and that's a really nice drop of clear. And we'll put a nice HS clear on this to finish it. But that's where we are. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you can join me in part three or four when we start the artwork stages. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification. It does help the channel out. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.